Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So I am joining you today from the bedroom in which Tommy and I are gonna be spending a lot of time in from now on. Basically, this bedroom is on our very top floor, so it's on our second floor, and um, this is basically gonna be the bedroom in which Tommy and I stay in whilst all the work, the bits of bobs on the house are getting done, which starts tomorrow, hence why I wanted to start this third house vlog today, because I'm actually heading to London all day tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be in the house whilst the work gets started, which is giving me a little bit of anxiety, because I kinda wanna see what's going on, I kinda wanna see the place get, you know, demolished and pulled apart, just so I can, you know, make peace of that. I'm actually not gonna be here, because I'm heading down to London for a really exciting meeting to do at the house anyway. I'm going to see a company called Sofa and Chair to start designing the sofas downstairs, um, the chairs for like the bedrooms and stuff, so it's to do with the house anyway. But this light is really washing me out, basically there's two like um, roof lights, um, roof windows, sorry, and they're <laughs> literally like Casper the Friendly Ghost. You may recognise this bed from our old apartment. We've had this bed actually in our very first apartment that Tommy and I, and Tommy and I ever had together, which was in the city centre of Manchester. Then we bought this bed to our second apartment, which we moved from not that long ago. So it's nice to see this bed again. I've kind of missed it. Um, it's a really, really lovely bed. Although, however, when the guy um, came to put the bed together, he actually said that basically the mattress had to just literally go on the floor through the bed frame because there was like screws missing. He couldn't really put the bed together properly. So I'm not joking you. It's just literally a bed frame with the mattress on the floor, um, like inside. This bit here, if that makes sense, just a mattress, but we're not really fussy. This is just gonna be where we're sleeping until our master bedroom is renovated and ready to go, which, uh, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's gonna be about, we've been warned it could be up to 12 weeks, which is three months, um, which is fine because we're in literally no rush, like, we're not going anywhere for a long time. Rather it take longer and it be done to a level where we don't need to ever really worry about doing it ever again. I'm gonna take you down um, to our master bedroom and show you a little bit of the work that's getting done and explain it a little bit because I'm worried that if I don't now I won't be able to show you like the befores on my YouTube and I'll get here tomorrow well I'll get here on Thursday and the whole place will be demolished I'll be like oh and I can't show you the before because it's all gone now I've got chocolate all down me because we just made Rice Krispie Cakes for Easter um, which I took a little video of which was really cute and also I feel like I'm just so like not in the mood to wear makeup at the minute I'm having my extensions taken out tonight I'm just in one of those moods at the minute where I feel like I just don't want to wear makeup I don't want to wear nice clothes I literally just want to shower in the mornings at the moment put moisturizer on put skincare on put my hair in a bun and just come here and I like, get on with like sorting out the house I feel like my image my personal image at the minute is really really falling through like it's really not my top priority like I care about the image of the house more than I actually care about my image hence why hence why this is me and it probably will be me for the foreseeable future on my vlogs but you guys know how I look on my vlogs I will literally come on my vlogs having not showered not brushed my hair literally just looking like a state so you guys know you get the real me yeah, this is one of our loft bedrooms. I've obviously not shown you up here yet. So yeah, one of our loft bedrooms. This is actually getting renovated as well soon, but it's one of our last jobs um, to be done. So it's really not a priority. And also obviously, because we're going to be staying in here um, for the foreseeable, we need to be able to like stay in here and it not be renovated. Um, so yeah, this is our old bed. These cushions here are actually from Primark, I think. We've got some storage here. To be honest, this storage is really, really great, but there is a lot of storage in this house and I don't think we're really gonna need these cupboards. I want this room to be like a proper guest bedroom. So like whenever family and friends come to stay, like the bedroom is just ready to go. Also the ensuite in this room is just here. So we have bath with shower in the bath blue tiles and then nice little sink area this isn't getting changed at all i actually really like this bathroom it's nice and super bright and light i love these little lights on the wall um so yeah nothing's really getting changed in this bathroom it's a really nice size as well um it's just going to be stuff that's getting changed in the room and to be honest, it really doesn't need changing at all like this is perfect and for like guests and friends or whatever so i will just take you down from the very top floor now and go and see our master bedroom. Okay, so here we have the infamous bathroom in which got me a little bit of controversy <laughs> online recently. I actually posted up on my Molly Mason account um, a CGI image of a new bathroom that's actually getting put into here. And obviously on a CGI, there's like no color or anything added in. The CGI that I posted on my Molly Mason account was not a done image at all it was just like a very first design that i got sent um, and i popped it on my story being like oh this is getting changed from this to this <laughs> wow 
hell, I shouldn't have done that, but I'll do that, I should have, but I just got um, a few opinions about that because some people much prefer the bathroom how it is now, which is totally personal preference. Personally, in a bathroom, I love light, uh, I like light bright spaces, I just feel like in this bathroom, it was a guy that lived here before us, and he designed this house specifically to his desires and his tastes, and exactly what he likes. It doesn't feel very, to me it doesn't feel very calm or warm, I feel like this concrete design especially feels quite cold and not very inviting it's a beautiful bathroom don't get me wrong and it doesn't it's not essential that it needs to be changed at all like it's it's really really beautiful and um i do i do like it like this i just don't love it and um for the journey it's taken us to get this house i want to love every single part of it also what people didn't really understand or know when they were talking about this all getting changed is that it's not just the bathroom that's getting redecorated the reason why this is getting changed is because there's been construction work happening to this bathroom so basically it's gonna be hard to explain but basically behind this shower here so this is the shower to this bathroom um this wall here this knocks through onto the ensuite of what will be my dressing room. Now, personally, I don't need an ensuite in my dressing room, and I would much rather have a larger ensuite to our master bedroom, which is through there. So the plan is, and what is starting tomorrow, is that this bathroom will be gutted, this wall will be knocked through, and it will go into, this. so basically two bathrooms will become one, if that makes sense. Um, and it will be one big space we're planning to have a shower in the center of the room like a big waterfall shower with a bathtub at the back and then the this sort of area so like the vanity area with the sinks will be right at the other end on either side um, of the bathroom so it's getting massively changed and i know that upsets a lot of people and for people wondering we would most definitely be recycling anything that we don't use like all these tiles they will absolutely not be going to waste or in the bin so do not worry about that even this marble there's no way we would ever do anything like chuck it in a skip like this will be recycled and we'll probably give it back to the people that um, put it in that's what's happening in here it is really just personal preference that this bathroom is getting changed um, I personally spend a lot of time in the bathroom um, because I often do filming in here also I, a lot of my stuff is to do with like skincare and like beauty and a lot of that stuff is to do with like being in the bathroom you know so I feel like the bathroom is a super important space and I want to feel like I love our bathroom you know I want to feel um, like I want to come in here and spend time in here and the light to be super bright and they just have a really nice relaxed feel to it everyone has different opinions and everyone has different tastes and what you might like in your home might not be what someone else likes in their home and vice versa like we all have different opinions and different styles it's like we all don't wear the same clothes so we're not all going to want to have the same bathroom tiles or have the same shower fitted or do you know what I mean like, especially the floor as well and um, the floor is obviously very busy with this kind of like broken up um speckly tiles um they're just quite like i'd say it's quite hectic and then also like contrasting with the marble here this marble is absolutely beautiful and we do have this marble running through the house and a lot of other places which we will be keeping because i think it's absolutely stunning um but the contrast of this floor with the marble personally and then obviously the tiles i just think there's a lot of um different things going on as well. I will say, my sister was amongst one of the people that was saying, I think you should keep the green, I think you should keep the green. But then Zoe actually came and saw the house the other day, which was so nice. And she came in this bathroom and she immediately said, she was like, oh, okay, I can understand why you would want to change it. Actually, it does have a cold feel to it, this bathroom. I think when you stand in this bathroom and you get an actual feel for it, you can see why I want to change it. But anyway, I don't know, don't know why I need to keep justifying myself. I feel like I'm on the defense. And now I'm welcoming you guys to our master bedroom which is getting changed <laughs> um so yeah here we have our master bedroom this is the current headboard and the current light fixtures the current wallpaper and um, this again obviously as you can see a massive green theme running through the house the whole kitchen is actually green as well which isn't getting changed us personally green in the bedroom like we want something a bit more neutral a bit more calming um this floor as well obviously as you can see is wood this is getting taken out and will be a nice thick cream carpet um, just because I find that a lot more cozy for a bedroom space so as you can see here um, this is what the bed looks down onto and this is where the previous owner had the television on this wall here but for us personally this wall here is a complete sort of like unnecessary waste of space it's a hollow wall 
So this is actually, well, I'll show you what's on the back of it. The back of it's actually lovely and it is, um, it's just more wardrobe space and it has this bamboo um, effect with little hangers, which also runs through the entire house, which I'm obsessed with. Um, this is the only place where this is coming out um, just because of this wall here. So yeah, this is actually tomorrow. I don't know if this is tomorrow that this will be happening, but over the next few days, this wall here will be coming out. The whole place will be carpeted, well, the whole bedroom will be carpeted. Um, and then on the back wall there is where we'll have our TV and I'm looking to have a little miniature fireplace under there as well, which will be really cute and cozy. Um, the only problem I have is, is that when you lie in bed, this back wall here to have a TV on is a little bit far away, um, but hopefully we're gonna have a big enough TV on there that you'll be able to see it okay. Basically in this area here in which this wall will be taken out of, we're going to have a sort of miniature lounge area with like a little sofa, chairs, and a coffee table. I kind of want it to have a bit of like a hotel, <laughs> hotel suite vibe to it. And I feel like having that coffee table, chairs, sofa will really, really give it that. The ceilings in this house just honestly make me so happy. I can't even explain. It's just little details like this, like, LED lights running around the outside of the room and it just has the most beautiful feel to it I just I can't explain how much I love it as you can see there we also have speakers for surround sound so hopefully when we get the t new tv connected up we'll have surround sound and stuff so yeah this wall this wall right here is coming out um, it gets quite complicated as well because the whole house is underfloor heated and obviously because there's like a square there that's coming out this area of the room won't have any underfloor heating so um they're having to put underfloor heating in that little area there then they'll be carpeting over it so yeah that's the master that's where all the magic happens <laughs> and um i'm really excited for all the work beginning here because tommy and i spend a lot of time in the bedroom not in that way <laughs> not in that way um but in terms of like on the weekend we are a lying couple like we love laying in we love watching films in bed um i edit a lot of my videos in bed like we just love spending time in bed like that's all i'm gonna update you on for now because i don't know how much is gonna get done tomorrow i just wanted to quickly come on here and give you a quick brief um understanding of how things are going to be going down tomorrow in case they happen really quickly i come in and then there's nothing to show you guys i'll be like oh my god there was a wall here but it's not here anymore <laughs> apart from the gym that's getting put in downstairs which is a humongous job they are the main things that are getting done to the house so it's the, this bedroom and the ensuite and then obviously my dressing room and stuff but that's more just like cosmetic stuff that's there's no like actual um more knocking down of walls or anything the stuff i've shown you just there is the main cosmetic no sorry um structural work that's getting changed me trying to talk in like house um term terminology and like no like what to say is so hard i'm so not clued up on it yet but i'm gonna get i'm gonna get better i feel like i'm gonna be a builder myself by the end of this whole experience i'm gonna head off now i've got a filter meeting this afternoon and then i'm getting my extensions taken out with emily so i can put some hair masks in my hair get some health back into my hair. Uh, maybe I'll actually bring you to London with, uh, no, that's what I'll do. I'll bring you to London with me tomorrow and we can um, go through some of the designs of the sofas and the chairs and the fabrics and the wallpapers and all that stuff because that'll be really, really fun. I don't know why I didn't think to bring you guys to that. Catch up with you tomorrow. Hello guys. So I am joining you this morning from the Sofa and Chair Company in London. Ellen and I have traveled down from Manchester this morning. Little three hour car journey. It was actually surprisingly so fine. We left it around like 7 a.m nice early start headed down here and the showroom here is absolutely insane we just walked through there um to get to a little office room where i'm going to meet my interior designer first have a little chat with her then she's going to come around the showroom with us help us pick out sofas chairs coffee tables all that good stuff um i'm really really keen to get the furniture ordered asap really because i'm a little bit concerned that obviously i'm moving in in literally a few days after Tommy's fight and um we've literally got no furniture we've got the sofa from obviously our, our old apartment which we've taken out of storage and our old bed um but a lot of the rooms that aren't having any like structural work done to them we can kind of order the furniture for them straight away I would kind of would like to get it ordered today because furniture can take up to like 16 weeks um they say like 16 weeks is an average time to sort of wait for a sofa or say if you're having anything made from scratch um or made to like measure and stuff so yeah that's the plan for today um i'm going to show you as much as i can you know i get a little bit of stage fright when i vlog in public but i'll do my best to show you this is the current setup i have bought my laptop because i'm trying to upload another youtube video for you guys this is honestly this just sums up the struggle i take my laptop everywhere and anywhere i can go um that i think will have strong wi-fi because I physically can't get it anywhere else in Manchester. The Wi-Fi is just so, so terrible. Um, so I bought my laptop to hopefully try and connect to their Wi-Fi and then I can get my one of my house vlogs up for you guys. It's got 54%, but 
that's taken about 14 days to do that. <laughs> this is so cute. They've given us a little um, plate here of like fresh fruit, macaroon. Guys, my stage fright isn't normal. Some lovely girl from So French Hair just came in there and I was like, with the vlogging camera. I guess I'm nervous. And she knew it too. I know, she literally <laughs> was like, you're right. I think I'd love to be that girl that there would be like cookies in the center of a table. I'm like, oh, I'm okay, thanks. Like, I wanna have one, like I'm, I'm, like, I'm eating healthy. I just can't, like, if there's food on the center of the table, if there's biscuits, fruit, maybe not fruit, <laughs> there's biscuits, mm. cakes, treats, chocolates in a bowl, in an office, like I will be having one or 10. Like that's just the way I am. Just looking at some dining room table chair options we've not actually picked the dining room table itself yet but these chairs are sensational it's got this like i think it's boucle they call it or boot 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 or boucle <laughs> i'm not too sure um i mean the whole house is going to be this material at this rate because in all the sofas all the chairs i'm just like i love it so much it just feels really really cozy but also looks so beautiful and expensive um on the backs of these chairs like look at that i just absolutely love that the only thing is that they're not that comfortable so we're looking at maybe an option where this part here is filled in i don't know and then maybe we could put a cushion on it or something also how unreal is this this piano is playing by itself look at this everything that I like and we're going to go into an office room now and like visualize how things would look in each room and then hopefully we'll get some things on order which would be really really great. It's six hours on and we're still at Sofa and Chair. Um, I've picked out so much stuff. Today has been so successful. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've picked out like three sofas, um, some beds for the upstairs, um, coffee tables, tables, chairs, all that good stuff. So we've done really, really well, um, which means we can get things ordered now. So the wait time will start now. Hopefully if we order things today, we might be able to look at getting things within like six weeks earliest um, because everything gets made like bespoke. For example, like the sofa that I've picked, which I'll try and show you before I leave for the kitchen area, like the um, daytime living area. Um, it currently is just like one bit of sofa, but I'm having it made into like an L shape. So that's gonna be like completely bespoke. They're so good here at Sofa and Chair. Ellen and I have not had breakfast, lunch or dinner. Um, so that cookie I showed you earlier of me eating um, is the only thing I've nibbled on today. And it is half past four. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, you cannot, half past four. We're looking at having maybe these chairs here around our circular dining table, but this is like a gray leather. Um, instead we'd have it as like a cream linen. So even things like that you can change and reupholster. Um, but these are super comfy. And I love this sort of like framework around the bottom. Where is she? What does she want? No, just to like say bye. Do you make it to, to Oh see yeah, I'm sorry. I was on the toilet. No, I know, but obviously I was just like, I didn't want Guys, to. Guys, I had to go to the toilet before we left. I need to put my seatbelt on. And um, I, it wouldn't stop coming out. Coming out of me like mama. We needed the toilet all day, guys. And I didn't want to do it in a public toilet, but I wasn't are. really left with many choices. Anyway, guys, we just, I need to put my seatbelt on. Um, But where is my seatbelt? must be the other side. Basically, guys, Ellen and I are going to head straight to a Maggie D. <laughs> it's been there six hours. Huh? Six hours. Six hours in a showroom. Wow, but we've got so much done. I'll mm. update you guys when we get home. I'm actually going to go to the new house um, because I told you the work has got started today. So I'm interested to see what they've gotten done. This is our driver's new Viano. How cool is it? I feel like I'm in a, bought some of those cars, a Rolls Royce. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a Roller. TV, we're not quite sure how to work that yet, we're working on it. McDonald's has been secured everyone. We got, do you want to demonstrate? We've got a double quarter pounder with... Just cheese. Just cheese. And ketchup. And ketchup, it's not, it's not focusing, but I got the same. Guys, I am so frustrated. This is literally now the third car tripod that I've bought and it doesn't work. I've never seen any other YouTuber talk about how hard it is to find 
a car tripod mount for your car like am i the only person that is having this issue i've literally bought three completely different types thinking oh this one will definitely work no this one will definitely work and none of them work like none of them stick to my dashboard i just ah, i don't know what to do i've had so many requests on my comment section to do a drive with me and I, so i've bought these car mounts trying to film a drive with me and i was like oh i'll test it out today on the way to the house because that's where i'm going now and um it's just not working like i can't get it to stick this is like the sticky pad that you're meant to stick the tripod to but this is about as sticky as my forehead like there's literally there's no stick on that whatsoever it doesn't even feel tacky so i just i just don't know really but anyway guys how are we all doing so today is easter sunday i'm not gonna lie i am feeling a little bit solemn a little bit sorry for myself today um it's easter sunday and i've literally i've like obviously all my family live down south um, and at the moment obviously tommy and i we're living apart because he's in training camp his fight is next saturday which i've also messed up on because because obviously i think i've told you guys before i get a lot of anxiety before tommy's fights and it's a very like on edge time for me um obviously being his girlfriend i basically what i've done this time is tried to act like it's not happening mentally to sort of help me like deal with the anxiety of it but by doing that i've not ordered an outfit i've not sorted hair makeup getting down there accommodation like i've literally not sorted anything because i've just literally been trying to act like it's not happening but it's happening it's saturday it's coming on saturday and i have nothing to wear or anything that's fabulous um but yeah because today's easter sunday and I'm, I'm spending it alone um i thought that maybe i would take myself down to the new house and spend the day there because like that is my ultimate happy place right now and um i also realized as well i've got no food in the cupboards like not even so much as a bottle of water or anything and won't all the shops be shot today like i was like i'll take myself to costa have a little drive through get a nice coffee take myself to the new house but i am still gonna try and drive to costa because i've heard that well I, I looked online and it said that it might still be open i don't i don't think it will be it's easter sunday i think nothing's open on easter sunday but we'll see i love living up north don't get me wrong like i would never ever move anywhere else i like to think um but days like this where you can't see your family or like everyone's with their families and friends and like you're just kind of by yourself normally i would be with tommy obviously but um it's just unfortunate that i can't be today but as you guys know i definitely do not mind spending a day by myself i love my own company i'm very very comfortable with that um so yeah let's take ourselves to the new house um i'll see what work they've done they have now started the work at the house i really don't think much will have been done I, i've definitely overestimated the speed at which things will be done because honestly right this is hilarious so um i was saying to you guys the other day on the vlog i was like yes yeah, so i think this wall's getting knocked down tomorrow i think the bathroom's getting ripped out tomorrow all that got done on that tomorrow was like sheets were put up like literal sheets to protect the house were put up and that was that day done so i think i've really overestimated like the speed at which things are going to be done i was honestly like guys you know all these walls are getting knocked down tomorrow like literal just erin sent me a picture of like the, i was like send me updates on what's happening she was like so these sheets have been put up today and i was like and she was like no no these sheets have been put up today i was like right <laughs> okay i love this house but i'm ready to get into our new house now i'm ready to go i think i don't know if some of you guys may have seen in my story the other day there was a humongous spider like a tarantula with a body as thick as you know thicker bum than mine in all seriousness though if the shops are all shut like completely shut i'm not gonna be able to have breakfast lunch or dinner because i've literally not got any food in like i've got a couple of uncle ben's packets of rice in the cupboards in the, in that house but in the new house i've literally got completely nothing and i thought i would just go to the supermarket or something but i think everything will be shut guys cost is open i'm absolutely buzzing i get my little ice latte right what am i gonna get Hello. Um, Good morning. Morning. Please, can I get a medium iced latte? Yeah. Um, with skinny milk. Yeah. Um, and sugar-free caramel syrup, please. And a glass for you. Can I just get one shot in that instead of um, two? Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. Um, and a bottle of um, two bottles of water, please. Two bottles of water. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Medium skinny, one shot, sugar-free caramel iced latte, and a bottle of water. Yeah. Thank Next you so time. much. Thanks. Bye. Ice latte, skinny, sugar-free caramel, one shot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. There was um two bottles of water as well. Two water. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. To be honest, I could do with getting a tank of petrol as well because I am on my last drags, the drips and drags. But 
I don't really want to be spending £120 today or whatever it is for a full tank. Am I just putting off the inevitable that I'm going to have to get petrol at some point? Yeah, should I just get it today? Probably. Okay, right, I'm going to grab some petrol. I'm going to go in and get myself some breakfast, lunch and dinner from the BP garage. And I'll see you guys in a sec. There's nothing more satisfying than watching your petrol meter go back up when it's been completely empty. Just going to have a little... I'm just going to mix my... Latte. Taste test. Oh. That is literally unreal. <laughs> what is this? It's not Easter without an Easter egg. <laughs> I mean, Guys, I actually I can't, can't believe it. I've literally been saying all morning how I'm so sad I've got no Easter eggs and no one to spend Easter Sunday with. And then, suddenly... An angel appears. An angel appears. I literally can't believe this. Oh I got you a different set of flowers as well this time. Really? Yeah, so different look. Oh my god, um, lilies. Yeah. They're beautiful. I thought it fitted well with Easter than like. Yeah, like roses. white flowers. Yeah. Oh, babe, thank you so much. I got you a, a cookies and cream or a Twix. I didn't really know. What to <laughs> or schnitz snacks. Yeah. Yummy. Mhm. Mm Missed you on the vlogs. Have you missed? I'm not here right now. I know. Because I kept my show. <laughs> I have been explaining to the subbies that you've been away. The subbies will never understand. <laughs> I would never call them subbies in my life. Anyway, carry on. The subbies will never understand how I felt during this camp. Like I'm sitting here talking to you guys and I'm withering away. <laughs> I'm genuinely being serious. Like Basically, guys, he's, this is basically all he gets to eat today. And it has been that way for about eight weeks. <laughs> But guess what? One week, less than that now. Tommy, this time next week, you'll be able to eat whatever you want. Mmm. There's only one problem. What? Next week takes a lifetime to come. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but next week you can have all of that. I am so, 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 so surprised. Let me just turn the TV down so you guys don't hear that. I'm so surprised because you know in the car I said that they'd got no work done. They have gotten so much work done. I literally am in complete and utter shock at how much work has been done in the two days the builders have been here. Like, I'm so, 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 so impressed. Um, I really did think that it was only the sheets that had gone up. Um, and they literally got no work done, but I've come in and I was my jaw was literally on the floor at how much work they've gotten done. Like so much progress has been made in literally two days. So I'm buzzing and I'll take you upstairs in a minute and show you. The mood change in the last two hours, well, mood was here this morning. Now my mood is literally higher than the ceiling. I'm so happy and I'm in such a good mood. I've just had Tommy's family come round and pay a little visit. And Tommy's now with them, um, so I'm in the house by myself again. <laughs> it was a full house for a minute, now I'm by myself again. Eating a cream egg, delicious. Um, I am actually gonna head upstairs now and show you, I've just done some Instagram stories to um, show you guys my home account, the few changes that have been made, the lots of changes that have been made. Right guys, I'm not gonna do like too in depth of all this because I suppose it could be a little bit boring. Like you're literally just looking at building work right now and it's still, very very far off from being like the finished project or anything but i obviously showed you guys this stud wall the other day this is all that now remains of that stud wall and um, we have these little wooden beams here which will also be coming down i really feel like now taking out this wall was the best decision now i can see how big the space is going to feel um we really like a big bedroom space so this is going to be much better for us and then as you can see here the floor has started to come up the builder um has just messaged me and said that it's been a really really hard job trying to get this um wood floor up as you can see they've done this sort of l shape here hence why they've sort of cut it into like a grate like not a great um a grid um, as you can see here, it's in like a bit of a grid. This is gonna be cream carpet, like I told you before. So through here, past the wooden structure, we have Tommy's dressing room, uh, which is all covered up. The island, well, the console in the middle has been moved um, because obviously the floor, the same carpet is gonna run all the way through. Um, and they've done a really amazing job at covering everything up, like protecting everything that's staying, making sure like dust doesn't get anywhere where we don't want dust. Um, so yeah, this is now Tommy's dressing room, a shambles, but soon won't be. Then through here, the work on the bathroom has begun. I cannot believe, honestly, how much they've got done. It's incredible. The toilet has gone. Um, this wall will, will also be knocked through soon. 
excuse me, I've just had energy drinks, I've got wind. <laughs> um, the bath's now gone, um, the sinks have been taken away. Um, so soon, the bills will be back on Tuesday because it's bank holiday weekend now, but this wall will be coming out, the shower will be coming out. Um, the progress is just insane. Like I can just see now that things are gonna be done, I think a lot quicker than I realized because as I was just saying on my Instagram stories, that this work that's already been done, I really did think would take like three weeks to like a month to do. Like I thought to sort of get this kind of work done would take so long, but I had no idea how like how long work like this kind of takes and stuff like that. So it's really, really promising to see that things, well, that I thought would take ages are really not taking long at all. I'm so, so pleased with the builders that I've um, employed on the job because they are smashing through it after literally two days and I'm just in shock. Yeah, it's all really, really positive to be honest. I'm so impressed and so happy. They have done also some work in my dressing room with ripping out that bathroom in order for the wall to be knocked through and it's become one big bathroom, but I'll show you that um, when I come back or in the next vlog or something. I don't wanna show loads of notes today because I know it's quite a lot to sort of like take in and well for me is anyway, I'm like, oh my God, there's things going on in this room, this room, this room. Um, and then soon the gym will get started as well. So it's just really, really great. And this is just so amazing to see this space now all open. It's giving the exact um, feel to the room that I'd hoped it would, like a nice, big, airy, spacious master bedroom. Am I right in thinking that this vlog is about 45 years long? This is actually my longest vlog I think I've ever put on my YouTube channel and comment down below if you've enjoyed the longer vlog because I love doing longer vlogs, like I actually do, but it's just, um, sometimes I get loads of footage and sometimes I don't get loads, so sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're slightly shorter, but um, when I can do longer vlogs, I do like to do them. I am going to bring it to a close though before it's literally one of those videos that's like 55 minutes long and I'm like, oh God, it's like a Netflix episode. I hope you've enjoyed this week's house vlog, sorry for the abrupt ending, but I'm just going to close this one off so I can start the next one. There's loads going on at the house today, we've had a bit of, we've had a few teething issues, I keep calling them on my Instagram stories. Um, We've had quite a big leak this morning in the like formal living room area. Um, I heard loads of like dripping. It literally sounded like a waterfall when I went into the living room and the, the carpet was like completely saturated. There was like a waterfall coming through the ceiling. So it's just what you want to see. And I'm actually heading off to Parma <coughs> today with Beauty Works for a shoot. So I'm just leaving the um, leaving the mayhem behind me. If you made it to the end of this video, then I love you millions. I hope I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.